Welcome to Yellow Texas, and this is our team of traveling Texans. Ride shotgun with us as we visit breathtaking views. It is incredible what we can find right here in Texas. Check out heart racing attractions. Woo! And taste mouth-watering foods this great state has to offer. This is getting hot. It's all right, so bone. That's why I know it's good. This is delicious. Why, you ask? Well, to simply put it, you only live once, Texas. Howdy, y'all, and welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to travel guide in the Low Star State. I'm your host, AC, and in this episode, we're going to a secret dinner with plenty of wine and food to go around. Plus, a world-renowned street artist comes to Texas for a one-of-a-kind arts festival in Austin. But first, Texas, you know, it's synonymous with barbecue, and what better way to celebrate the Lone Star State's obsession than by gathering all the very best pitmasters in one place and sampling their cuisines. So I hope you brought your appetites because we're about to stuff our faces at the annual Texas Monthly Barbecue Fest. This is Texas Monthly's Barbecue Weekend, a gathering of the very best barbecue in the Lone Star State. Okay, so Austin is the mecca for barbecue and what better way to celebrate that smoky goodness than by gathering all of those delicious meats that you can think of in one location. We're talking about Franklin Barbecue, and I hope that you brought your appetites because there's just tons to eat. I'm hungry. Franklin and Friends is a newer component of the weekend that brings in folks from around the world for an intimate date with Central Texas Barbecue. We're from Chicago. Chicago! We had to get away from the snow. Well, we're from Monterey, Mexico. Maryland. From Chicago. Uh, definitely stoked for uh, some barbecue, some beer, hanging out. It's going to be a good time. This is my first time. I have no idea what to expect. Just amazing food, um, great interaction with the uh, the pit crews. And that's the best part is you can actually sit and talk to these people. that are, They're just artists and you can figure out what are they doing, how are they doing it, what makes it different. So it's really exciting. And when the clock strikes six, guests file in for all the eats, meats, and drinks. So we're brother to this black iron barbecue out of Pflugerville, Texas. And we're serving today the caramel apple cobbler it looks so good. and our Texas Cuban. So it's pulled pork and pork belly mixed together. It's a little skin chopped in there, ham, pickles, and Carolina mustard barbecue sauce. I didn't eat lunch for this because it's so exciting. Okay. Mm, wow. I don't even know the sauce is on top, but it's delicious. Um, Convenience West is the name of our outfit. We're all the way out in Marfa. Awesome. Um, and so tonight we brought some smoked banana pudding. We brought brisket sliders, which is kind of a mini version of what we do at home. Okay. Um, we also made cabrito tacos on fresh flour tortillas and um, some what we call carrot dip dip. It's fire roasted carrots and comfy garlic with some Fritos to scoop at it. Cute. Oh my god. It's very so good. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. Bread is nice and buttery. It's so toasted and it's delicious and soft. And then the meat is so tender. And it's got this sweet barbecue sauce, but it also has a little kick to it too. That's bomb.com right there. And I think I'm in love. So we're at Desert Door. We're serving up our sotol here today, uh, which is a spirit made from a native Texas plant, also called sotol. So okay. we're serving it up in a ranch water, which is the classic Texas two-step. All you have to do is pour out your Topo Chico to right here, fill it with sotol, and then put a lime in, and you've got yourself ranch water. That has a nice kick to it. I like that. <laughs> Charlie's Barbecue and Caden from Beaumont, Texas. We're serving St. Louis smoked ribs and a pot of pinto beans with some homemade link beans. Oh my goodness, you're just teasing us right here. I'm gonna have to get me some. First rib of the day. Here we go. Okay. Oh my goodness. It was a little hot at first. It took me a minute, but woo! It got that smoky flavor. It's so good. And I dipped it in the beans, so it makes it even better with the sauce. And if you know anything about barbecue, 
Then you know this guy, Aaron Franklin of Franklin Barbecue. Finally, we get to meet you. You're kind of a Texas icon. Uh. Well, <laughs> it's funny that you say finally we get to meet because I'm here every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so please tell us about the event. How did it all get started? Who came up with the idea? So Franklin Barbecue did the Team BBQ Fest. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of the only Sunday that we would ever close the restaurant. Uh -huh. And then eventually I was like, you know what? let's just do a pre-party on Saturday. And I mentioned it to Daniel over drinks one night. He's like, man, that's a really cool idea. And I said, yeah, that is a cool idea. Let's do it. So we did it. And this is the third year we've done the Franklin and Friends, as we like to call it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay, I call it that. I don't know if anyone else is. <laughs> okay, so we've met Franklin. Who are your friends? Every year, Daniel Vaughn and I kind of talk. They're like, well, who do you want to invite? And right. Like, well, these guys are doing cool stuff. I'm like, well, I like these guys. And really, I kind of let Daniel, because he's the guy driving around eating this stuff. I don't really, <laughs> that's not my job. Yeah. I stand in a parking lot and talk to people. Yeah, so we just kind of come up with a list together and people we want to hang out with pretty much. We are not uh, an expert by what so me. What oh, I'm not either. You may, you may be a, a little notable. I'm uh, vegan. <laughs> okay, so what's the secret to making a perfect brisket or the, the best brisket oh. or a Franklin brisket? Um, a lot of labor and uh -huh. a lot of love. Yeah, but no, no secret ingredient. No, no, just labor, really. Yeah. Uh, de sweat the details, and it takes a long time. We are Leroy and Lewis Barbecue. We are here in Austin, Texas. Uh, today we have a crispy, a crunchy barbacoa taco with onions, cheese, cilantro, and our house-made taco sauce. Oh my goodness, I love yeah. me barbacoa. I know it's not Sunday. But you know, we actually do barbacoa every day. All right, they fooled me. I saw these around and I thought it was a crispy taco, but it's barbacoa. Woo! That's so good. We're in the back of the line for Franklin's barbecue. There's like maybe 100 people in front of us. All worth it. We're almost there, we're almost there. It's Christmas morning, Whee! Yeah, I got some pickles and sauce on here so that it's Texas barbecue style. <laughs> and then we've got our espresso barbecue sauce on there, which we actually put a little espresso in there for you guys to taste. Oh, shoot. Yeah. We're going to have ourselves a night. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. So the moment we've all been waiting for, Franklin's barbecue. I'm like shaking in my boots because I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's brisket. Top notch, heaven lame, so good, tender, delicious, flavorful. Um, all the words when you're talking about barbecue. All right, we came, we ate, we're full, and uh, don't tell anyone, but I'm gonna take this back with me. I'm so excited. We're gonna be back tomorrow for the Texas Monthly Barbecue Fest, and we're gonna bring lots of floss with us. We'll see y'all tomorrow. More from the Texas Monthly Barbecue Fest after the break. everyone, we're in beautiful downtown Austin for day two of the Texas Monthly Barbecue Festival. We're just any second now. Folks are going to be bombarding, flooding this whole entire place, trying to get their hands on all the Texas barbecue. We're on the mission to try every single one of them. So let's get to eating. And who better to talk us through the event than Texas Monthly Barbecue Editor, Daniel Vaughn. Okay, so we're here for the Texas Monthly Barbecue Festival. We are so excited to be here. We got a little taste of it yesterday, no pun intended. Yes. So what can we expect for today on Sunday? Well, today it's uh, we got 30 of the best barbecue joints around. So, I mean, basically the way I like to describe it is you've got like this enormous barbecue road trip like at your fingertips in one spot. Nice. Like rather than thousands of miles and many, many days, yeah. you can eat all 30 of them right here. Just yeah. walk from table to table. So being the barbecue editor of Texas Monthly, what do you taste? What do you look for when you're creating this top 50 list? Of course, are you serving great barbecue? But are you serving more than one great thing? Okay. You know, you gotta have a couple of different great uh, smoked meats. Right. Certainly having great sides, desserts, all that helps. As far as like ambiance and the feel of the place, it really doesn't matter all that much. That part we really don't take much into account. It's it's really about the food. Awesome, awesome. Okay, and you said there's about 30 vendors here? Yeah, we got 30 different barbecue joints, and I wouldn't call them vendors here, because the great thing about the fest is you, you pay one price to get in, yeah. and then you eat all you want. Yeah. Just go from table to table, getting all that you can eat.
There's three that you really need to make sure to go to, okay. and that's Louis Miller Barbecue, okay. Snow's Barbecue, okay. and Cooper's Barbecue. Okay. And I'm specifically pointing them out because this is the 10th year that we've had the Barbecue Festival, and they're the three places that have been with us all 10 years. Awesome. We are first in line for the number one barbecue in the Texas Monthly Top Barbecue list. So excited for Snow's Barbecue out of Washington, Texas. I'm Tootsie Tominich from Snow's Barbecue in Lexington, Texas. And maybe it's just since we were named number one in 2008, it seems like the barbecue family or the barbecue in itself has grown tremendously. Yeah. I'm just very privileged to be able to be part of the Texas Monthly Barbecue family. Oh my God, that's a bomb. I understand now why it's number one. That is so fantastic. Ooh, ooh. So really cool thing, whenever you walk into the gates, they give you this map that's very fitting on butcher paper and it gives you all of the places that are here today from the barbecue joints and the things to see and do and we're going to check a list off of all the barbecue places that we're going to try today we're going to try to hit all 30 wish me luck yes. there we go barbecue freak baby so i'm with regal's barbecue in houston texas kills barbecue and we're from pearland texas uh, we're Baker Boys Barbecue from Gonzales, Texas. Style Switch, Austin, Texas. Our pork bellies will smoke at least three to four hours, and then our sauce is almost an hour. <laughs> Y'all, it's already tender. It's already coming off. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that! Oh. Hot damn! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Yo! Wow! That might be my favorite thing that I've eaten so far today, and that's saying something. We're from Truth Barbecue in Brenham, Texas, and we're serving uh, brisket and a chorizo pepper jack sausage. Hold that. That is so good. That's a, that's a meal right there. I enjoyed that very much. I like how there's a little bit of everything. There's chicken, there's turkey, there's duck, quail, bar uh, brisket, you name it. There's a little bit of something so you're not getting tired of it all, right? So, sausage too. New concept here. Uh, you gotta do a little pickle bag. You gotta shoot it with the sauce. You gotta eat the pickle, eat the sausage right after. So, cheers, y'all. Salud. That's actually. The best thing I've done all day. <laughs> Granary sold out, Cooper sold out. We're gonna make our way to La Barbecue, get in line, make sure we're gonna eat something, make sure you get here quick and early so you can get your grub on all day long and don't have to go through what we're going through right now. That's when you know it's good. All right guys, I think we did a pretty good job. 16 out of 30 and we learned our lesson, come early, eat fast smaller bites. That's going to do it for us here at the Texas Monthly Barbecue Festival. It was great meeting y'all. See what I did there? I'm going to go walk this out and call it a day. Bye. For a list of the great barbecue joints we visited today and for more information on the Texas Monthly Barbecue Festival, check out the link below. Texas has so many events like this going on every weekend, so check out Dickens on Main and Bernie happening November 29th through the 1st of December. It's a Christmas event you don't want to miss. Coming up next on Yellow Texas, wear your brightest white and be our guest at Dinner and Blanc after the break. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. Okay, so here on the show, we love any excuse to get dressed up. And when we heard whispers about an invitation only dinner in Blanc, we had to wear our most elegant white outfits and attend, of course. And get this, at the last minute, the secret location is revealed to thousands of guests for the chic picnic. So Ariel's wearing her finest white and is a guest at the very elegant gathering in Houston, Texas. 
With over 2.3 million residents, Houston, Texas is the fourth largest city in the United States and one of nearly 80 cities in 30 countries to participate in a very secret event. But to start our evening off right, we're headed to a VIP blend experience with the very prestigious Chateau St. Michel. One reason I love Washington wine is because we can grow so many varieties so well. Meet winemaker Leah from Chateau St. Michel. So we'll start with the Malbec. I think compared to other regions in the world, Washington Malbec is quite aromatic. It's really almost juby purple fruit. I've done blend sessions with many different groups in the past, and the first thing I want to say is that there's no wrong blend. When we think of blends, we want a base. Like, what's my favorite wine out of these three? That's gonna be my base. And I wanna be somewhere between 50 and 80% of my wine is that base. We have no idea where we're going, but we're about to board a shuttle to take us to our secret location, so let's go. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Le Dinner and Long Tech Evening filled with elegance and magic right here in Houston, Texas. And the biggest requirement is we have to wear all white. Le Dinner en Blanc is a worldwide event spanning six continents, and to understand the concept, who better to talk to than one of the hosts of the event? Le Dinner en Blanc started nearly 30 years ago in Paris, bringing friends together to have a wonderful picnic and just love on each other and share with each other. What's the significance of the white? Just white is beautiful and pure and friendship-like. I love it. So can you run us through what it's like for someone coming here, like from beginning to end? So you have to be invited. Yay, you oh. have to have attended before. Okay. So it's a very elite and private kind of group until we open it up to other friends. Okay. But what they do is they bring their own tables, their own chairs, their own linens, and they bring their beautiful decor. They bring their china, their glassware, they bring their picnic food, they bring their wine, and they come and they set up and they have a wonderful time. They meet the people next to them and end up having great relationships for the rest of the year. To finish off our night, we met up with Leah one more time for some wine. We have a small selection of the wines that we make up in Washington State here tonight. I am ready to try any wine you give me. Wonderful! This is our dry Riesling, so it's very crisp, very acidic style, and no sugar. That is delicious. It's crisp, it's refreshing. I could drink this any time of the year. Yay! Yeah! And what else do you have to fresh to try? I have a wine very close to my heart. I absolutely love our rosé. So it's a dry style rosé. Oh, I like that. Thank you so much for taking us through this tour of wine that we're experiencing here at Dinner and Launch. My Lodge. pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. If you want more information on how to attend the dinner in Blanc, head on over to the link below for more information. Coming up, we're attending the inaugural Austin Elevates Festival when Yellow Texas returns. Hey y'all, welcome back to Yellow Texas. So the music capital of the world now has a new festival, Austin Elevates. It's an immersive art and music experience that was the brainchild of Texas injury attorney Thomas J. Henry. The purpose of the event, to create awareness for numerous local nonprofit organizations and our Yellow Texas crew was there to go behind the scenes and get the inside scoop. So join Kyle for a drive to our state's capital for Austin Elevates. We're here on 6th Street for the Austin Elevates Festival, a weekend filled with live music and art. And speaking of art, we have a very cool mural that we're about to show you. So let's go around the corner and talk to the artists. Let's go. So who's around the corner? World famous pop artist Alec Monopoly. He spoke to us about his recent work. So I'm here in Texas painting a mural for Texas. So I kind of was inspired by a lot of the iconic Texan looks. We have Cowboy Monopoly, we have some cactus, Texas flag, Scrooge with an oil reserve. Uh, I mean, I think it's amazing. Austin is an amazing city. Uh, I'm up for all charities. You know, I love giving back. 
yeah, Thomas Henry is a great guy. He's an amazing guy for, for bringing me out here and allowing me to show my work and give back to the charity as well. So when people see this, what's the reaction that you want them to get when they're looking at this mural? Well, I, wanna, I want everyone to be happy and put everyone yeah. in a good mood and put a smile on people's face. And that's kind of the reaction of all my work. When people walk by, it reminds them of childhood, of, of family memories, playing Monopoly. You know, I just want to do this for the people and something they're going to enjoy. I feel like I'm a little overdressed too because mm. I noticed that you have all this paint all over your how many clothes do you have to go through every time that you do one of these murals? Uh, everything I own has paint all yeah. in it. My camera has, my phone has. Right. So I've kind of just given up trying to be perfectly clean. Did you need any help with anything? I, I feel like I'm a little artistic. Uh, you know, I, I could put a little that, touches we got, we got on this there. Under control. No, are you no, sure? Wait. You stick you to the sure? TV. All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you though. Pretty good art there by Alec Monopoly, world famous artist. I used to be really good at painting by numbers, staying in between the lines, but obviously he doesn't want my help, so I'll let him do it by himself. Who better to talk Austin Elevates than founder Thomas J. Henry? Art and music are coming together right. in Austin, Texas to try to make sure that we can help people through this art and music event. And so people can go to these events for free, but it can give them some awareness. Now that the paint is dried, we're on the red carpet to celebrate the unveiling. Alec Monopoly, posing for the cameras. I wish I had that bling. Can we get some YOLO rings for everybody? YOLO pendants, YOLO rings, YOLO earrings. excited to see this. Have you seen it yet? I have not seen it. Now that the red carpet is over, it's time for the unveiling. For more information on next year's event, visit the link below. All right, y'all, that is the end of our show. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. And if you happen to miss a previous episode, no worries. Just visit our website at yellowtx.com. And while you're at it, follow us on our social media pages as well. Until next week, remember, it is a big world, so get out and explore it. You know what they say, you only live once, Texas. We'll see you out there.